In this question, you are being asked to identify the rental income that should appear in the company's statement of profit or loss for the year ended 30th of April X6. The detail of the question reveals that the company receives rent from a large number of properties and that the total they received in the year 30th of April 20X6 amounts to 481200. You're also presented with information about the rent received in advance and in arrears for 30th of April X5 and X6. Be aware that the rent received in advance is often referred to as deferred income. This is simply amounts that have been received for a particular year but actually relate to the following year, hence they need to be deferred. Rent in arrears is often referred to as accrued income. This is income that is outstanding at the end of a particular year. You're presented with information for X5 and X6. The balances given for X5 will be the opening balances or the brought forward figures and the balances given at X6 are the closing or the carry forward figures. The best way to approach a question like this is the shortcut formula approach which I'm going to show you. Start with the opening deferred income. The question reveals that the opening deferred income balance is 28700. We're going to add that figure on. We're adding this figure on because it's an amount that would have been deferred last year. It would have been deducted from last year's rental income, but it is relevant for our current year. So we're adding on the deferred income. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to deduct the opening accrued income. The opening accrued income would represent a balance that was outstanding at the end of last year because it was income that was truly earned in the previous year. It would have been added last year, but this year it's not relevant for our numbers. We're going to be deducting that accrued income, and that is the 21,200. Next, we're going to be adding the cash that has been received from the rental of the properties during the year. This is information that was given in the very first sentence of this question, the 481200. Next, we're going to deal with the closing balances of deferred and accrued income, starting with the closing deferred income. Now, closing deferred income needs to be deducted. It relates to next year. We're going to remove it from the balance of the rental income that we show in our current year. Next, and finally for this question, we deal with the closing accrued income, the 18400. This represents amounts that are outstanding for the current year and should be included in the rental income balance for the current year. And if we add down, what we will get is 475,900. This is the rental income that the company must show in its statement of profit or loss for the year ended April X6, which is option D in this question.